Coach Palazzo. First off, congratulations. You guys are the champs going into the finals here at, uh, well, I mean, not let you like hit somebody with a chair or something like that, but <laughs> how many finalists for you guys? Seven. Seven? Seven. That's pretty good, Coach. That's that's one out of every two for people who don't know how many college, high school weight classes there are. <laughs> yeah. uh, coming up to a, something like this from Florida, though, talk about what you guys want to get out of it. You know, obviously you want to win it, but what do you want the kids to get out of coming from Florida yeah, no, you, to the Midwest? You got to get out and you got to see different looks and different different guys and um, up here at this tournament there's some 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 real deal guys so the idea is to improve and continue to go through a season where we're getting better and all the way through we got a tough schedule coming up here we, um, we, we go back home to um, a, a tournament at home called the knockout tournament it's uh, it's as tough as it gets in our state and, uh, so I, I think it helps prepare but it's right around the corner it's just a couple of days from now it's, it's right after Christmas 28 29 so uh, the guys are wrestling real well right now and they're pushing them pretty hard. What do you say to those seven finalists? How many placers total? Uh, there's uh, nine. nine. Nine placers total? Nine. What do you say to each nine, finalist? Nine. We put 12 guys in the tournament. Um, you didn't bring a full team? No. Two, two weights we don't have here. Um, and our 20-pounder, who's a real tough kid, uh, is not here today. So, uh, you know, maybe, so that, that's uh, another, another side note. Looking at, you know, you said you're from Chicago land area, from Glenbard North, right, Coach? Yeah. Looking at Glenbard North graduate from a long time ago. Coming up here, though, coming uh, into right. the Chicago land area and the yeah. Midwest, more importantly, what's it like for these guys to see a Midwest tournament? Uh, it's a different experience, for sure. It's a different style of wrestling, a little bit more on the mat, a little less on the feet. And, uh, and that's a good thing for us because it's a good change for us. Um, and I get to come up and see my family for Christmas, so it works out well. When do you leave? Uh, we'll leave tomorrow. Uh, I won't leave tomorrow. Team will leave tomorrow. I'll leave on the 26th and get back to practice. So you go back for two days of practice, and then you guys got your second biggest tournament of the year, would you say? Yeah, I would say. Second biggest tournament right away, right around the corner. Looking at wrestling in the South, you know, you're a Midwest guy, so you know what it takes to, to yeah. win at this level in the Midwest. What is wrestling in the South? You know, what have you noticed about it? After, you know, how long have you been down there? Well, road? I gotta say, you know, Florida. I've been, I've, we've, I've been plugging away at this program for seven years now, and uh, it didn't, it wasn't like this seven years ago. That's for sure. But each year, it's gotten a little bit better, a little bit better. And I gotta say, the state is, as well. And people don't realize that there's some real quality wrestling going on in our state, you know, in Florida, no doubt about it. And, uh, and it's very competitive. It's not an easy thing down there. What is your uh, your tournament series, your your state tournament or prep tournament? What do you guys go to for? We wrestle in the regular FHSA tournament. We're a small school, so we're in the uh, you know the small division. But uh, we like to think of ourselves as uh, you know the goal is to be the best team in the state, regardless. Can you be the all team division champs? Can you guys do that? You have somewhere. I think so. I think this year. Well, I think this year we we've already got, we were just in a tournament last week where um, all the other big guys were there and we won that tournament. Um, so I would say this year we we're, we're, uh, we may have made it over that hump. I look at you know teams like you. You know I like meteoric climbs. Like I'm seeing you know seven years. You said you've been plugging away for yeah. a while. Is this something where? What are you up the ante with? Do you, do you go to the Beast? Do you go to the Iron Man? What are you up the ante with from that? No, well, we wrestle in Flo's, who's number one. Here, we'll be in that dual tournament on January in Philadelphia? 16th. Philadelphia? Yeah, we're in Philadelphia for that. So that'll be, a, uh, obviously, a big challenge for us. We're not necessarily set up for a dual, um, a strong dual uh, team, but I think, we're, I think we'll be in the ballpark. I think we'll do pretty well. Um, we wrestle at the Prep Slam. Seminary is supposed to be there, so that's another tough deal. Second and third of January. Next year, I don't know. We'll probably be at the Ironman next year for sure. You guys don't hide. I like that. I kind of look at it and think we, you know, I missed the boat on Ironman this year. I wish we were there. Uh, this group of guys would have done pretty well, I think. I would hope. I like what I'm seeing on the mat. If there's one thing you want people to know about, you know, wrestling in Florida and what you guys are doing in Highland, what would it be? Nah, I just think that again, we, we get out, we wrestle all spring, all summer, we're, we're seeing a lot of these kids all over the country, and it's not just my group, but there's other guys in the state that are real hammers, and um, you know, it's a good place to be when it comes to wrestling. No snow for the kids this time around, no just snow, rain and man. fog. My daughter, my daughter, she's four years old, and she's like, I thought it was going to snow, there's no snow. What do the kids say about the weather? It hasn't been that bad, actually. It's not that bad, but it's gray, and it's cloudy, and it's ugly, and it seems like every time we come up north, which is a lot, they never see any sun, so they think that it's a, a dismal place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? That's it, man. Hey, congratulations on the title. Thank you.